view, right? Um, I am just sat here waiting for my friend Alex to turn up with his De Tomaso Pantera. He's going to be taking me for a drive today and I'm excited. I know absolutely nothing about this car. Luckily he does because he's owned it for a ridiculous amount of years for as long as I can remember him. Um, I've been seeing him driving this car around as his daily driver for most of the year. So I am really looking forward to this. I sent the, the guy I bought it from. He couldn't. He couldn't believe it because I'm like, "So, what's your bank account?" And he's like, "What do you mean? What's my bank account?" Like, yeah, is that right. it? Are you gonna buy it? Yeah. Oh, wow. And he said, he, he, like, he was being very distrustful. He's like, "Haha, here's my type, type people. Like, here's my bank account." And he couldn't believe it. And rightly so. He got his money and he immediately called me. He's like, "I received money from you." I'm like, "Yes." Yes, you did. Because yes, I want you did. Because I want the car. Oh my god. But you weren't actively looking for the Tommaso? No, not at all. Did you know what it was? Like I, as soon I, as you saw the car you knew what it was? Uh, I had like seen around, you know what I mean? But never actually gotten any interest in it. Okay. And see, seeing the car, seeing the price, uh, then obviously I started researching and what have you not. And uh, fell, fell in love with it basically. How many kilometers do you think you've done in her since you've had her? When I bought her, she had 65,000. Now we have 76,780. Is that miles? No, kilometers. Wow, that's, is that all? Yeah. That's not, you haven't done... A thousand kilometers a year since I've on a rough. Wow, that's not a lot considering she's your daily driver now. Yeah, for, for summer only. Right, okay. Yeah. And in winter, what do you got? The Matra Morena. Wow. Which is another completely random car that... As soon as it rains a bit, I'll be calling you up to do a video now. <laughs> sure, of course, yeah, absolutely. Um, Need to put the window down there yeah. before we die. <laughs> what, you notice the pressure? God, it's so hot. So, engine-wise? Engine-wise, it's a Ford uh, V8, 5.7 liter. Right. A 351 Cleveland. And so Ford, did Ford partake in the manufacturing yes. of this car or was it just the engine? Well, the, uh, basically, basically how it was, Ford needed a uh, affordable super, uh, sports car, a supercar okay. for for the 70s. They had the Ford GT, but that was like more of a race car and then like something you can sell, sell to Joe Schmo. So they um, asked the... Uh, Italian. He's originally Argentinian, Alessandro de Tommaso, okay. that he would provide them with a design, what have you not, to, to have an affordable sports car in the Ford range. So he did so and they powered it and they made them in Modena in Italy. Most of them were sold to the States and then sometime, they started in 1971, somewhere in 1975, Ford wasn't selling enough of them. Because they were unreliable, they overheated, they caught fire, right. as you oh. very, very well know. Yeah, that's a story for me, <clears throat> And uh, basically, then around 75, 76, Ford said, uh, we, we, we are not no longer going to market them. But uh, they, uh, Alessandro Tommaso continued making them because they were, you know, selling a okay. couple, yeah. couple cars here, a couple of cars there. Is there a limit? Like, do we know how many were actually made? They're, ab the they're about from 71 uh, to, eight, to 91. Oh, wow. 20 years. 20 years. There is roughly, people can sit and argue about the smaller numbers, but known to have been made about 7,400. Right. God, over 20 years. Mm. Did they change a lot in 20 years? 
in like the, in, the, in the in the 80s they did okay because they're obviously with the requirements of the, the what, what you would call the kum touch requirement yeah, i get you so bigger spoilers mm. wings all that like a pimp top version exactly yeah. so that's the gt that's the gt5 you have the uh, what do you call the push button ones which is the first series then you have the pre l which is pre l means pre luso yep then you have the luso then you have the GTS, then you have the GT5. Then you have oh, uh, the SIs, which are the, which are the last ones that are produced in the, in the 90s. And this one is a? This is an L. This is an L. Yeah, painted, a as, a, yeah. Okay. painted as a G, uh, as a GTS. The differences are so minute. Yeah, like you have to be a proper expert. Exactly, yeah. Amazing. Should we go and have a look at the outside? Sure, of course. Right, so we're working with bare minimums today. We're working <laughs> with, a sel with a selfie stick. But uh, we're fine. We've we've got underneath the tree. We're here. We're admiring her. And we're just having a little chin wag about the servicing. So you've had this car for 15 years. You're probably one of the very few people in the world who have had the Tomaso Pantera for this long. No, believe it or not. Really? People stick with them. Wow. People stick with them, and I mean, this is there, there are stories they'll tell you. There, second two generations. And um, what is it? Dad like, bought it. Son took it over. And value-wise, like, do you think that you've has it gone up in value yeah, since absolutely. you've had it? Yeah, of course. And the fact that you're using it doesn't kind of influence No, because, that way. Uh, because in the community, like, it's not a question of hardcore fans. It's, uh, you'll find that people, people that use Pantera is very practical. That's crazy. Even though it's a contradiction in terms, because it's, it's said to be a difficult car yeah. and a pain in the arse car and what, uh, what have you. Well, for me, it would be like parts. Like, where would you get parts from? Parts, you, have you can to get as to many parts as you want garage? from the US. But through Ford directly. No, 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 no. They, there is special, specialized. There's Pantera International. Really? There is Pant uh, Hall, uh, Pantera by Hall. Right. There is, um, what are those other guys called? I forget. They're also Pan Pantera something. There's like three, four websites that you can order parts okay. of online. So that's for the parts. And then mechanically, do you do all the work yourself? No, I have, I, have, I could do all the work myself because it is. Of course you could. You know, I can. Yeah, of course you could. <laughs> I, I can. I've, I've, I've rebuilt a VW Bug when I was a, oh, when I was a teenager. I see. And a Alfetta 124. So you fancy yourself a bit of a mechanic, yeah, do you? Yes. All right. I do. Actually, actually, I'm not just one of these guys that drives a car and doesn't know how it works. Not just a pretty face, yeah. they say, you know, not just a pretty face. And how often do you service it? Do you do it by kilometers or do you just make sure that every year she kind of has an oil change? When it doesn't work. <laughs> it is that often? Recently, knock on wood, no. All and right. that's, been a, that's been about a year. The most problems that occur are cooling and, um, and the carburetor. Right. And paint work-wise? Paint work-wise, we painted about 10 years ago. Gonna, I'm, I am going to give her a pr proper scrub yeah. back to back to factory. Okay, but are you going to paint that color again? Because that's exact, exact same scheme. But is that the original color? No, the original think? color is actually canary yellow. Canary yellow. Yeah. I can see her in yellow. No, but she would look a bit. But you know, you want to know a, though, a, no? a, a funny story? Uh, Elvis Presley owned a canary yellow uh, Di Tommaso Pantera. Shit, you and could lie. And, it was and the one. famous story is the car didn't start, so he shot it. And that normally gets, you know, I used yeah. to do that with Ferrari all the time. Just, <laughs> just shoot at them, kick them, something, yeah. you know, something. No, he literally sh took a gun to, gun to and shot it. It's in, it is, it, you can look it up on the net. Elvis Presley's De Tomaso Pantera. And, and did it fix the issue? And it, ha it has a <laughs> steering wheel with a bullet hole through it. Shut up. For real. Well, now we know, guys, if you ever need your car to start working, just get your gun out. <laughs> Maybe well, I shouldn't say the that. King, the king himself America. couldn't get it to work, so. <laughs> All right, great stuff. Well, thank you very much for taking me for a little drive. And uh, we'll see you again in the winter to drive one of your other ridiculous daily drivers. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just got back from driving in that just a of Pantera. I didn't actually drive myself. I'm going to leave that for another video, I think. I need to school myself a bit more and be in a manual mood, which I wasn't today. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We're going to be, I'm going to try and do a few of those videos every now and again. Get rid of Fezzo because sometimes he can be really annoying. I'm <laughs> just joking. Um, but get more to terms, you know, get uh, deeper in with people who've 
owned cars for a long time and um, so we can get some feedback on the whole ownership of it instead of just you know me driving it for half an hour so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you're all subscribing subscribe 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 and follow me on um, my instagram because there's going to be loads of more updates there too my lovely ladies in the background and i will see you all next week ciao